Nice to see a group star for entertainment. That's a beautiful thing. <laughs> nice to see you. I'm turning around already. Last night I couldn't find my spot. Did you? How many of you saw last night's show? All right. What were the rest of you doing? I uh, couldn't find my spot, but this is it now, and I'm safe and I'm comfortable. Welcome to the show. This is, uh, of course, my second night hosting, and uh, my hair looks better each night. That's the main thing to notice. <laughs> My friend said, can't you talk about current events? I said, uh, instead, he said, <laughs> thank you. Welcome to the show. <laughs> this is my spot. Does my hair look all right? <laughs> oh, God. My friend said, that's you talk about your hair too much. They said, can't you talk about current events? I said, sure. How does it look right now? <laughs> thank you. Welcome to the show. Really? <laughs> this is my spot. <laughs> So now the, uh, this PTL thing, uh, I don't know what the heck's going on anymore. Am I the only one who's lost in this thing? I, all I know is they're looking now for a host, which, uh, I think Joan Rivers has the inside track on that. Because at least they won't have to hire a new makeup lady. So now, oh no, it's a joke. It's a big joke, really. Thank you and welcome to the show. Is this my spot? <laughs> so the United States government's getting pretty tough. Yesterday they clamped down on Kurt Waldheim. Today they announced Colonel Klink couldn't come into the United States. <laughs> <sighs> and in a sign... Yeah, seven people. <laughs> and in a shot... Uh, and in... <laughs> My words, this is my spot. My words, you see, I don't talk well because my words, I figured it out. My words get about right here, see my lips, get frightened, and head back down the other way. I, uh, in, a, in, a, in a sign of support over the uh, Waldheim issue, uh, NBC pulled Waldheim's drive-on pass to the studio today. So, no, no, that's for my three friends at home, really. Bernard gets, uh, Bernard gets the subway vigilante, uh, goes on trial this week in, uh, New York City. Uh, Bernard Getz was on the Regis Philbin show last week explaining his side of the issue and then shot the temptations. So, <laughs> the, uh, you can force, force that out, force those laughs out. The, <laughs> the Kentucky Derby is this, uh... Is it this, is it, uh, oh, oh, laugh at me. Go ahead and just laugh. Well, go ahead. The, uh, this is my spot, though. So, um, the Kentucky Derby, of course, is this, uh, weekend. And, uh, the winner of the Kentucky Derby, the horse that wins, actually only gets something like a million dollars. The big money is, of course, in the, uh, stud fees. So... When you get right down to it, it doesn't matter how well the horse does in the race, it's how well he does in the party after the race. <laughs> and uh, if you win the Kentucky Derby and you're a horse and can't score, you've got bigger problems than I ever had, really. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, these... Uh, this flows right together, watch this. These uh, Chinese pandas are... Uh, This is, this is the spot. I'm in the right spot. These Chinese pandas. This is fun for me. Otherwise, I would just be home looking through my clothes, you know, <laughs> thinking, boy, I could wear this if I had somewhere to go. You ever do that? You don't? Oh, great. All right. So, uh, Ling, Ling Ling, I don't know the name of these pandas. Ling Ling and uh, Poo Poo, I don't know what it is. <laughs> They're back in town, and uh, they said they only breed... They mate three straight days every two years. 
and that's it. And uh, I know what that feels like. I mean, uh... <laughs> and frankly, when I've made it three straight days, I find myself hanging on a tire at the Washington Zoo as well. So... <laughs> Because it really knocks you for a loop. Trust me on this, if you've never gone through that. I um, want to wish... Now, I won't be on the show again uh, before Mother's Day. Oh, I'm hosting tomorrow, but I want to... May is... Uh, Mother's Day is May 10th. I want to say hello to my mother who lives in Arizona. She's watching right now. This saves me a phone call. I'm telling you, this hosting thing is just a gold mine. And... Um, <laughs> My mother lives in Arizona. There can be an earthquake in Peru. My mother still calls me up and goes, is everything all right? I go, yeah, Mom. Get, get a map. All right, Mom? I should get my mother a globe for Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to everybody, of course. Uh, I actually, I wanted to buy my mother cologne for Mother's Day, and I don't know what kind of cologne my mother wears. And, and you can't, you know, buy your mother one of those colognes that's designed to drive a man wild. It's your mother, you know? I'm, I'm at the counter of May Company saying, well, you know, she vacuums. Do you have anything that... <laughs> does Hoover make a cologne? Because that would... <laughs> Have you guys ever gone out with a woman who actually smells like your mother? She's wearing the same cologne? <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. I've had this happen, and I'm, like, necking with her, and, and it just throws you off. I said, no, excuse me. I, uh... <laughs> I have to go clean my room. I'll, I'll be right back. Just Actually, I'm dating a very attractive girl now. She's a... Well, she's not... Okay, she's not gorgeous. She's a stewardess for Federal Express. But... <laughs> it's not an easy job just to keep going... More twine? I'm getting more comfortable with the camera than people themselves. It's frightening. You know, um, I want to say hello to my grandmother who also lives in Arizona. My grandmother's 84 years old and still drives. This is a pretty frightening thing. Yeah, everyone goes, God love her, she still drives, but nobody will get in the car with her. It's not... <laughs> you know, she's got a 1960 Dodge Dart, you know, with push-button transmission, which is like a... basically like a slot machine at this point. It's just like... <laughs> There's no telling what's going to come out of that thing. She's got little stencils of motorcycles alongside of her car on the fender there. Every time she hits one, they spray paint one on. She's a hero at the nursing home. It's an unbelievable thing. So she's one of these typical grandmothers. You know, she's got her couch covered in plastic, the chairs covered in plastic. You know, everything's covered in plastic. At one time, I was driving her by one of those houses that they were fumigating with the big tent. My grandmother goes, oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> Keeps dust off the whole house. <laughs> well, anyway, well, I'm going to do one more job. So, um, this is, I do too much material, if you call it that. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> so, I got to go. I got to go. Let's, we have a great show tonight. I'm going to tell you another joke a little later, but we're out of time. The lights are flashing at me, and hey... You got to come to the club and see me work sometime, all right? We have a wonderful show tonight. We have Tracy Ullman on the show. Yes, Paula Poundstone, Kevin Nealon from Saturday Night Live, and Michael Talbot from Miami Vice. And I'll see you after the commercial. Watch the commercial. <laughs>